ಮಂಡಳಿಗೆ ವೇದಿಕೆಯ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಚೀನರಾಗಿರುವ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಅವರ ಪಾದಾರವಿಂದಗಳಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕರಿಸಿ ಜೈ ಹೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಜೈ ಹೋ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅನುಷಾ ದೇ ಪಕ್ಷ ಯಾರ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೆ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸಿಬಿಎಸ್ಇ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಹುಗ್ಗೇರಿ ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟರೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ದಯಾಸ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ i feel extremely privileged to speak a few words on the importance of constitution and of fundamental duties constitution is by the people for the people and to the people the word constitution was derived from the latin word constitute which means to establish or to form constitution is a political document that confirms the relationship between the citizens and the government regulates the fundamental rights of the citizens and also ensures the nature of the government being indian is our identity but being a republican is a country's identity being indian is our identity but being republican is our country's identity aryan gilgis defines constitution as that state of rules and laws written or unwritten which determines the organization of the government and the basic principles on which these powers need to be exercised our constitution is our power our constitution is our power a constitution divides the organ based on the state the first comes the legislature this organ creates law for the whole country next comes the executive it's the organ which executes the law made by the legislature the next comes the judiciary this is an organ which interprets the law and uses it in the case which comes before it constitution confirms the power on the organ created by it it ensures the nature of the government it gives fundamental and constitutional right to all its citizens it is supreme as compared to all the laws of a country constitution brings up moral values and national ideas one nation one vision one identity no nation is perfect it has to be made perfect without a strong constitution no nation is a strong nation without a strong constitution no nation is a strong nation every country has its own constitution which has rules and regulations related to the particular country we are so proud that india has the largest written constitution in the whole world constitution is the backbone of secular and democratic country therefore all the institutions must follow the rules and regulations laid down by our constitution our constitution was adopted on 26th of november 1949 but it came into effect on 26th of january 1950 it took all about 2 years 11 months and 18 days for the total carving of a constitution our constitution was itself adopted to our nation on 26th of november 1949 under the chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar it includes 448 articles 25 parts and 12 schedules Now we understood what is the constitution and what is the importance of a constitution. Now we need to understand our basic fundamental duties. The first fundamental duty of Indian is apart from the constitution we need to respect our national ideas and institutions such as the national anthem, the national flag. The second fundamental duty is to cherish the national ideals. we need to cherish and follow the national ideals that led our freedom struggle the third fundamental duty is to protect the sovereignty being an indian we need to protect our sovereignty unity and integrity of india the next fundamental duty is to defend our country and render national services whenever we are called upon to do so the next fundamental duty is a spirit of common brotherhood we need to protect and promote harmony and also maintain the spirit of common brotherhood transcending regional linguistic sectional diversities of my country 
The next fundamental duty is to protect and promote a composite culture. As we all know that India is very rich in heritage and culture. Therefore, it's the duty of every Indian to protect its composite culture. The seventh fundamental duty is to save our natural environment. We need to save our natural environment such as the trees, rivers, lakes, mountains, etc. and to have a compassion for our living beings. The next fundamental duty is to develop a sense of temper. We need to develop temper, scientific temper, a spirit of inquiry and reform. The ninth fundamental duty is we need to protect our public property. Public property are the wealth of the nation. Therefore, we need to protect the public property and abjure violence. The third fundamental duty is strive for excellence. Strive for excellence. We need to strive for excellence, never mind it is individual or community activities, as it all acts upon the national building, NDOs and the nation's achievement. The next fundamental duty is being a parent or a guardian, we need to give maximum basic education for a world aging between 6 to 14 years. These are our fundamental duties. Let's take a pledge on this Republic Day that we will follow all these fundamental duties as being a true citizen of my country. Those who love the nation would definitely follow the Constitution. Constitution is the ultimate power of the country. Therefore, we need to respect and obey all the rules and regulations let down by our Constitution. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat Mata.